He asked Ken Corla, Taoiseach, last November I asked you as Taoiseach, as leader of our country, to lead what I hoped would be an open, honest, factual and respectful debate on immigration. So far this hasn't happened and in my view, until we treat our citizens as adults and trust them with all the facts, the nice stuff we want them to hear and the hard facts, the tough stuff that's difficult. Until that happens, Taoiseach, people will and have got some of their information elsewhere, and that's not always good. Today, I just want to raise one issue with you. The national conversation, and it's a difficult one, but it's the national conversation around single men who are seeking asylum, and the specific situation whereby some communities have said they will welcome and integrate families, but not groups of single men. Now, the knee-jerk reaction is, this is unacceptable, it's racist, these are far-right tropes. But I'm asking for a little bit of reflection, and to cast your mind back just two years ago, when thousands of visceral statements from so many Irish women followed the horrific murder of Ashling Murphy. And I still remember some of the comments from Minister Anne Rabbit, who said in this house, she said, not all men, but all women grow up knowing they are not safe. Not all men, but all women know the feeling that creeps up your back when you hear steps behind you and you have to check. And she told us, by simply existing, women's lives are at risk from men they know and men they do not know. So Taoiseach, we believed women two years ago when they made these statements about Irishmen. So I'm asking you, why do we not at least entertain those statements from women now when they say that the idea of 30, 40, 50, whatever, single asylum seekers arriving in their town or village, living three or four to a room, no family connections, nothing to do most of the time. Why do we not take on those concerns as genuine? Now, let me be crystal clear. There is no evidence, zero evidence, none, 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 that they pose any greater threat than 80 Irishmen. But many women have said to me, and I believe them, that they would say the same thing about 80 Irishmen in the same circumstances. Taoiseach, I'm not saying there's no racism involved here. We all need to question ourselves. But this heightened concern is real. So I'm just asking you, I'm asking you to listen, to engage, and to believe. I'm asking you to have the debate warts and all. And I'm asking you to manage this in a reasonable and rational way so that we can honour our commitments and bring communities with us. Thanks, um, thanks Deputy. I'm, I'm, I, 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 I have to say, I have to be honest with you, I, I, I am quite disappointed uh, in the question you asked. Uh, and I can see the faces of many people around this House um, who I think agree with me. Um, I think the killing and the death of Ashing Murphy was one of those events that really touched the nation. Uh, I remember it so well, and I remember the outpouring of grief for that young woman uh, who was killed uh, in the way she was. Uh, and I remember the anniversary uh, only a few weeks ago. Um, and I really think to connect that to a debate about international protection and migration is really wrong. Uh, really wrong. Um, uh, the evil person who killed poor Ashling Murphy, uh, was an EU citizen, had been in the country for the best part of 10 years, working and paying taxes. That's how he acquired his rights to social welfare and other things. Uh, and sadly, he turned on that girl for whatever reason he did and killed her. But to connect that to international protection and refugees coming to this country, whether they're genuine or not, it's really wrong, Deputy. Like, really, Deputy, don't bring our country down into that spiral. Please don't. Uh, Taoiseach, you're disappointed. I'm disappointed that you didn't engage. I'm disappointed that you didn't respond to the real concerns that I hear from people. And this is dividing people. I mean, I won't be lectured. Taoiseach, the last public meeting that I attended, there were vile slurs spoken against migrants, and I was the only public rep 
who called them out. And let me tell you, Taoiseach, there were members of your own party at that meeting who shut their mouths. But I didn't, because I won't listen to it. But equally, when members of my community express what they feel are genuine concerns, I won't close my ears. And I expect this House, as the House that represents the people of Ireland, to take this on board. We can't just have the one narrative. We can't just have only one perspective. Thank you. I never said Taoiseach, Thank you, and I said three times, migrants, there's Thank no you, evidence, Deputy, we're way over time. none, we're way to over suggest, time. but the Taoiseach we're is, over time. yes, but he didn't take his time. He didn't feel it was important De De enough Deputy, to respond to Deputy, me last time court. And, and I feel that by his uh, response... Deputy, thank you. We're way over time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sadly, people from all sorts of backgrounds and all sorts of genders and all sorts of races and religions and colours commit crimes. But to conflate crime and violence against women in particular uh, with migration, I think, is profoundly wrong and profoundly dangerous. Yes, you did, Deputy. Yes, 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 you, yes, you, yes, you did, Deputy. Yes, you did, Deputy. And, and in relation to... Just Deputy, please. Let the Taoiseach, no, let the Taoiseach respond. You, Deputy, let the Taoiseach respond. And Deputy, in, in relation to your remarks about me, I, I have engaged in this debate. I probably engage in it every other day, uh, in my constituency, in this House and in this media. Uh, only a few weeks ago, uh, I wrote a detailed article uh, published in the Sunday Independent, setting out what our immigration policy is and was, what the facts were and what they were not and I'll keep doing that. But I need a bit of help. I need a bit of help from people in this house who, 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 who oh, you're not. Uh, sorry, sorry, Jane. sorry. Okay, thank you.